So um, now that now that the the sound box is ready for you to put some glue on the back of the back of the frame of the of the harp, you're just gonna just start up top. And you're just gonna do a a bead of glue. Except my here we go. Bead of glue. As such, and a bead. I I do a bead on each side like that. And then what I do is I go along the whole length of the fretboard and then I come back and I just, I spread out that glue. I spread it out amply because it's going to, you want to have that glue making contact. You want to make sure that you're not covering the holes with the glue because you want to make sure that you leave those open so that when, the, when you're putting the strings through later, it's going to be able to uh, not be blocked by, by the glue. But you also want to spread the glue as close to the holes as you can because the more glue coverage the more contact it's going to have on the cardboard, so it's going to just catch to the box better. So after applying glue to the back of the back of the string rib to go glue onto the box, you got the box in front of you. You're gonna you're gonna flip this over. And you're gonna put the frame onto the box so that the bottom meets the bottom here and the top meets the top here. And you just you don't want to press down real hard, but you want to put you want to put some pressure on it because you're trying to get that glue to get to that cardboard. And then the trick, while you're holding it down, the trick to note it that you that you've centered the string rib onto the box is is with a ruler. You can you can measure um, from from this side of the of the string rib to the outside of the box. It should be five inches. So I had to move it a little bit, but five inches, and then you check over on this side, and that's five inches. That's going to tell you that these holes are centered on that opening in the box where the strings are going are to have to be uh, coming through when, when we're ready to string it. So it's five inches apart down at the bottom, and up here at the top, it's one inch apart. So we have a little bit of sliding to do. It's, you know, it's a little tricky with the, with the glue oozing, but that's why you're just trying to hold it down gently so that you can move it as you need to and then an inch on this side and an inch on this side five inches down here and five inches there so I know now that these that this that this line of holes is centered in the gap on the sound box so then what you want to do you've been holding it down and sometimes glue will ooze out uh, out the side and you want to just let it set a little bit uh, you don't want to let it dry, 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 because then it will tear the paper a little bit. But as it starts to get a little thicker and drier, you just want to use a, you know, a screwdriver or something square and just, just gently, just gently scoop it off if it oozes out. And um, and then that's going to be um, <clears throat> ready to set it. And so th the best way to set this frame onto the box then is to have some weight here in the middle. Here we'll use a, you can use uh, encyclopedias or books or heavy books or anything you can really think of that can be stable on there. We're just going to use a gallon of paint and that's going to be enough, enough weight on there. So, so we're just going to fit, fit this into the middle like this. And again, while it's there, you just want to, you know, always try to keep one hand on it, you know, just so make sure that it's going to be stable and not slipping all over the place. And you're just going to push down on it gently, back and forth, and then eventually it's going to settle on you, and you're going to know. You're just, it's going to be a little sticky to move it. So you, you know you've got it then. Again, with the one inch on the top, five inches down here, matching on the other side, you know you've got it centered. So now you've got it glued, and you can walk away from it. Let it dry. Let it dry for a while.